how to change clothes in Photoshop using AI tool. Take your outfit from basic to next level with generative fill in Adobe Photoshop. Hey there, welcome to Design Dynamo. My name is Asma and today we are gonna use Photoshop AI tool to change clothing, so let's jump on in. So here we are, our first image and this model is in casual look. Now, the first thing we are gonna do is to select subject in our contextual taskbar or we're just going to make our rough selection by grabbing our lasso tool so go to tool panel and uh, here i'm going to select lasso tool and make a rough selection so i'm going to select it this area and uh, go to generate a fill in the contextual taskbar and here i'm going to type a prompt dress and hit generate symbol and let, let's see the magic of generative ai and now guys here uh, we go look at this now photoshop give you few options of dresses Look at this guys, Photoshop generative fill, remove the background or get the right color shadows and reflections to give you a few options. So it's good and it's amazing. Look at this guys. now here we are our second image and this model is in casual look so now the first thing we are going to do is to select subject in our contextual taskbar here there is an option the option select subject and uh, here in the contextual taskbar i'm just going to select this option modify selection and i am going to expand this selection to make a good result, expand by 350 pixels, hit OK. And after that, we are gonna go ahead and grab a lasso tool, go to tool panel and here I'm going to select the lasso tool. So I'm going to hold Alt or Option, which is uh, uh, if you are using Windows, select uh, Alt key or if you are using Mac, so you use uh, option key on your keyboard so it's gonna make a minus lasso or deselect area of our subject so here i'm going to press option key on my mark to deselect this area which we don't want and uh, this area deselect this selection and after that, we just selected our model clothing and go to contextual taskbar and hit generate a fill and write a prompt here. I'm going to write green, stylish t-shirt and trouser. <laughs> and now guys, here we go. Look at this now, Photoshop give you a few option of dresses look at this guys photoshop generative fill remove the background get the right color shadows and reflections to give you few good options look at this guys it's amazing and this one is the photoshop version 25.7 i'm using and look at this guys, this one is uh, not perfectly matched. So let's check it out, make a selection more. So let's undo this and uh, I am going to use lasso tool again, grab lasso tool and make a selection, refine selection again, hold option key. And here I'm going to deselect this area. Let's check it out and uh, write a prompt here again red stylish t 
t-shirt and trouser hit generate and this time it's amazing it's good and look at this guys make making selection uh, give you a better result so here it is look at this guys this result also good now guys let's check it out our other example by using a reference image to change our clothing and uh, i'm going to change this sweater and uh, this time i'm going to select our subject or any other selection you want you can use quick selection tool object selection tool so grab a lasso tool to deselect the face and press option or alt key on your keyboard and i'm going to deselect the face area and uh, simply here and uh, select generate a fill in the contextual taskbar and here you will see this little icon reference image i'm going to click here and here you will see the option choose image and i am going to change this uh, clothing by using this image just check it out this image and uh, click open and uh, simply i'm going to write dress and click generate and look at this guys the magic of photoshop and how this is amazing you can see photoshop generate fill remove the background get the right color shadows and reflections to give you good options means uh, it it is amazing by using photoshop beta and uh, here simple prompt i write dress but we put generative uh, fill and uh, we, we select the reference image to swap uh, the dress from this sweater so this amazing now guys look at the result now guys let's check it out another example and uh, this model also is a uh, casual look but this time i'm going to use photoshop beta to check the results of generative ai the difference between photoshop beta and photoshop uh, so here the same uh, prompt we are just going to follow so and uh, first we're just going to select our subject and grab a lasso tool hold alt key and make a minus selection <laughs> to deselect the area we don't want and hit generate fill and write up prompt like girl wearing a red silk victorian gown and this time i'm using photoshop beta hit generate and look at this guys let's check it out our options and uh, photoshop beta gave us a very good results look at this guys and let's check it out other example and uh, in this picture the same procedure we're going to select our subject and deselect our selection by using lasso tool hold alt key make a good practice of it and i am going to deselect it this area we don't want to generate with the help of ai so i'm going to degenerate uh, reselect it hit generate a fill simply here i'm going to write a prompt dress hit generate let's check it out the variations the result all our western races and uh, it's look good now let's check it out uh, the same example casual look and uh, this time i'm using photoshop beta and hit select subject 
and grab our lasso tool and I'm going to deselect and this time I'm not going to expand our selection simply I'm going to deselect the area we don't want and generate a fill and here I'm just going to write a prompt green stylish t-shirt and trouser the same prompt we wrote in photoshop hit generate Look at this guys i am going to change lots of prompts and it will give you lots of good options and here i'm just going to zoom look at this guys all the options are generated and here you will see just changing the prompts and it will give you a good results by using photoshop beta and uh, this is now i'm um, using photoshop beta generative ai and the results are awesome now guys let's check it out another example by using a uh, reference image and photoshop beta to change the clothing using generative ai so first just going to select our subject make a selection uh, selection is very important to make uh, changes by using generative fill and uh, deselect the area which we don't want select a lasso tool and hold option or alt key to deselect the area you don't want and uh, click generate a fill and uh, select this option reference image which is the latest feature in photoshop beta and choose the image you want so I'm going to change this clothing by selecting this image and uh, simply write a simple prompt dress it generate. Let's check it out our result what Photoshop gave us. And look at this guys this fur and uh, it's good let's regenerate again and here you select which option you want to regenerate and this one is i'm going to generate similar uh, use uh, this option generate similar which is available in photoshop beta it will give you the result of uh, the same image you selected three more options it will give you uh, look at this guys few more options this picture and it will generate very good result uh, guys look at this Now guys, this is all about how to change clothes in Photoshop using generative AI tool. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe my channel Design Dynamo. Thanks for watching.